Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I ask the question, what is Factorio? Now, I know it's a game about building a factory, and I know there's enemies in it. So today, that's what we're going to investigate. Alright, so let's see, there is map editor, there's options, mods, about exit, and play. I want to see what map editor is, because I'm suckered for map editors. Death world, that sounds fun. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Okay guys, so I have everything about set to what I think is what I think is fair. Just to keep all those normal, keep all of oh geez. Uh wow, that's very custom, isn't it? Uh all that that normal, that's that's fine. Um we just gonna hit generate. That's something. What if we have some weapons like Yeah, my factory's gonna be a fortress, guys. Alright, I think I have formidable defenses. Now I can get into the building of all this. So I know there's, let's see, there's transport belts, express, express transport belts. All right, let me see if I can just like do some of this. Oh, here we go. Okay, we are going to have a purely solar farm. Whoa, whoa, whoa I can have a car. Oh, I can, I can have a car. Let's just spray these around. I could have a little fleet going on. I don't know how to charge them or whatever I need to do with them, but that's that's cool. Wait, big electric pole. Okay. I see how this works, although I'm doing a very terrible job of it. So those don't need fuel. Those need things going in them to be burned. You know, I think I'm good. I'm just going to save this as first or something like that and then I'm going to quit the map editor save and play oh alright guys uh, we are doing things we have things done Let's see, I'm in, I'm in this world, alone, hoping for f friends, maybe? Um, could have sworn that I gave, gave you power. Uh, uh, how do I, how do I power you? Am I, am I screwed already? Alright, I'm gonna find some trees or something. Wait, how, you don't need power, you have power. You're supposed to make power. Solar panels, I trusted you. I need to find trees, guys. There's trees. Okay. Trees are good if I have my adventure game is down right. So I can do something to trees. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, I'm shooting the tree. Ah. I did not need to do that. That's C's weapon. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll right click. That's what it is. Alright guys, I have trees, I think. I have wood, right? Uh, yeah, I got wood, okay. And what I just remembered was, I kind of tossed a million cars out here, but they need gas or something? Don't tell me you need gas or something. You need gas, okay, you all need gas. Really want to get in the car. Let me in the car. How do I get, how do I, so I'm Googling this. Okay, so apparently I had to enter, but can it really be as simple as that? It is as simple as that. Oh my goodness. I'm driving a vehicle. How much fuel does this thing have? Okay, so I'm burning through fuel relatively quickly. But I can drive now, which means I can drive and get fuel quicker. Let's see, hit enter, that thing's rolling away. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, ow. I have a challenge. And I will complete it. There we go. I'm like knocking out my power grid here. Just go, go around it. There you go. Okay. Oh no. This is like Minecraft all over again. Just kidding. Not really. At all. Alright, guys. I think we're doing well. I we got this beautiful car here. It has a weapon on top that I'm assuming doesn't work because it doesn't have a weapon attached to it. I don't know though. Oh, hi, cars. You know what, guys? I think I need to phone a friend for help because. I'm still confused.
Hey, oh, Biohazard here. Um, yeah, Roman is new to Factorio, and I've been playing it for around about a few months now. Granted, I'm still new, but with the combined togetherness of our brain cells, or two brain cells, that'll make five brain cells. That's I called reproduction, kids. Um, but we should do fine at this game. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's let's get into it. So, what are we um, what are we doing? Before I just want to say this one thing before we start. For all the viewers watching, in this world, we I made a rule. Where basically, if something gets destroyed through an attack or something. We can't go back on a save. We have so this to is the this is the enemies we're we talking off. about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bugs will come and attack us because we're producing pollution on the native planet. There we go. Okay. So the story is we crash landed and we got to build a rocket and uh, surprisingly knock it off. We got to send a satellite into space. Oh. Are you ready? All right. Let's let's, let's get right into and the put game. Put your miner down facing this way. What are we doing? We're gonna set up what's an infinite mining system. Oh, okay. Place, place, place down your miner right next to mine. Uh, this is the miner. On what side? Like here? Or here? Uh, any side, as long as I'm cold. Uh oh. Why is he facing the other way? As long as it's on coal, Roman. Oh, on co ah, okay. I see. I see. I see how that works. Not on coal. Okay. On coal. Okay. Now this basically the drill drills faster than it burns up. And we get infinite coal. Onwards, my fellow son. Come this way. Start, we're going to start by digging up trees. Just hold oh, yes. down right click you have to, to dig. have to Minecraft the trees. Uh, you might want to build a pickaxe. You, if you press E... I will do, I know how to do that. Your... I do that. I did that before. I'm doing it for everyone who doesn't know how to do it. Oh, um, sorry. Okay. <laughs> now, so now we got some uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, you start mining coal. I'll start mine. Or not coal. Not coal. Not coal. You start mining copper. Copper. That's the stuff right above you. Oh right. I'll copper. start yep. mining yep, yep. iron. All right, mining copper. Here we now, go. Now, you see this big space in the middle? No. The middle of what? The, the, okay, in between you and me, there's a huge empty space. Okay. That's where we're gonna start our production. Okay. What your job is going to be is you have to make as many green. I'm going to set up machines and everything. Make as many green potions as you can. Green and red. We need to research. Or just m trying to mo make mostly green. We need to research trains and quick. We have an hour and 26 minutes and 35 seconds. Oh boy. Is that for like an achievement or something? Yeah, that will give you achievement for both of us. For both of us. Nice. Alright, that is what we are going to be Also, doing. we gotta get you killed by a train. That's another achievement. Trust me. Okay. Hey, listen, I'm all up for death. <laughs> oh, the train killing shall be hard. Shall not be hard. Okay. Do you know how to set up the whole water thing, Roman? Uh, Do you I remember do. how? No. One pump. Dude, don't do that. One pump, 20 boilers, uh, 40 steam engines. Help. <laughs> uh, okay, fine, I'll help. Let me just make another one of these. All right, what are we doing now? We have okay. We have so I we range skipped a lot. We got these things, which are called electric miners. Basically, instead of running on coal like a burner miner does, it runs on electricity, which I will show you in a second how that works. It comes down to here through an automated process called magic. Shut up. Deal with it. Anyways, it gets the ore gets placed into the furnace and becomes steel, or Iron plates. Uh -huh. Um. Now we are currently waiting for more to get. I'm waiting for this research machine to finish, so that we could 
get coal lines to this side of the factory. Okay. This is what's called a research station. It uses these, come here, it uses this stuff called research packs. I like to call them potions. Do that. Basically, you craft them to unlock new material. Follow me down here. As you can see, we got the same system over here, but this is connected directly to a coal line. Oh, I didn't even know this existed. Okay. So I see we got the material coming in here, the coal coming into this side. Yeah. Normally, if you have it, your main line, you do that. But what I've got is that if you have two lines going in from the side, it won't bend the uh, thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. Here we got our one coal mine, our little stone production, running off a of burner drill. So I get stone. I'm gonna take a sample. I can't take a sample. Yes, yes you can. Oh wait, the, the sample is going here. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take a sample. Follow me. Oops. Okay, I took a sample. This is like our tour, guys. <laughs> this is our one a infinite mining drill, as you guys might remember from a few seconds ago. It comes down on the conveyor belt, does a loop around. This is because I'm ex going to be expanding it this way. It okay. gets placed into these boilers, which then goes into steam engines. Now, the general rule of thumb is one pump, well, one of these little guys, needs to be in water. Right. One of these little guys. So this takes feed, it, the water from the water, essentially. Yeah. It can feed up to 20 of these guys efficiently. Right. Each boiler can feed two steam engines. Right. So, okay. the general rule is 120-40. Nice. Alright guys, one thing I want to mention in between us doing stuff here, is that if we go out here to the map, you can see this big, which it's actually got kind of bigger, this big red outline here that goes around all this way, that is our pollution. If that were to touch enemies, which there are not in sight right now, I don't believe, then they would come and attack us because they don't like the pollution. So we kind of got to get rid of that uh, eventually if it expands too much. So that's just a little... May I elaborate? You can elaborate, yes. Okay, so basically the big pollution cloud will, yes, as Rom said, will, if it touches an enemy base, yes, we have done, um, will end up spawning enemies near us doesn't matter how far away the base is right and one if one thing that i didn't even know is everything you do called creates pollution these things create pollution oh everything now the ground absorbs a little bit of pollution but honestly it's never made a big enough difference for me mm -hmm. So what does get rid of it? Ah, uh, just nothing really. It's just gotta killing the enemies. Yeah, essentially. All right, cool, 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 cool. So guys, another thing, we have conveyor belt full of coals going down here. This, I believe, yeah, this splits it fifty-fifty. These oh, you're coppers. What? I'm talking. No, I'm talking about everything. These uh, these co these uh, coppers here are going into the other side of the belt. They're ending here, they're going into these furnaces. Then this transport belt is taking all these coals, stacking them up against here, and feeding them into these furnaces. And there is, what is this, uh, iron coming out of these. So the iron's getting melted, smelted into iron plates. So that is pretty freaking cool. I thought you guys were gonna see that. Alright guys, we have five minutes remaining for that uh, that uh, the, the achievement. We're probably not going to do that, but we still have uh, a lot of stuff running here. So we have this lab, we have a bunch of potions that are going into this box. We have all of these potions, they're actually called, they're not called potions, they're actually called uh, science packs. But they're getting, they're getting produced here, the red ones, and they're going into this iron chest right here. And then they're getting fed to the labs that way. The green ones we're just kind of crafting and placing in. Uh, they're crafting in the bottom of the corner, by the way. We have a lot more machinery going on here. A lot more mining things. We're basically stocked up on iron, uh, copper, coal, that sort of stuff. We're good on that. 
uh, it's just a matter of getting these potions uh, pumped out to try to get uh, some research going on. But, hey, I mean, this is still really cool. Like, we got a lot done. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, Al, you want to say anything about it? Mm. No, no. All right. Well, yeah, that's, that is what we're doing. So that's cool. All right, guys. So in essence, this is Factorio. A fun whole, game. Yes. But the goal of the game, at least this mode, is to launch a rocket ship. Launch right? a rocket. Yes. Yep, with a satellite on it. With a satellite on it. Okay. Or, or, spoiler, skip ahead a few seconds if you don't want to hear the spoiler on how to get a certain achievement. There's this achievement called Thanks for All the Fish. And in order to get it, you have to load up a fish onto your rocket ship. Cool. Yes. All right. You heard me correctly. That is wow. That's interesting. Um. All right. Well, so a big spoiler there. That's good. That's good. Balls. Um. Don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. So we are going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy. We are building more things, and I will see you guys in the next things. video. If you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and if you like this game and you want to see more of it, leave that in the comments because I will very likely do more of this game in the future with and without Biohazard Gaming. Anyways, guys, you I can't do it without me. You can't do it without me. This is, I own the server. Shh, I can make my own. Anyways, guys. Wait, wait, before you go, can I say something? Yes, you can. Please also check out my channel because I will be posting more factorial tips and tricks and more Let's Plays with Roman. Yes, do check out his channel. I'm leaving it in the soon. description below, as always. And until next time, guys, I got nothing to say. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.